Happy midweek, it is Alex from Title Boxing Club, the Boogeyman, with your midweek musing. And this week's midweek musing relates to our focus point. We're talking about staying relaxed when you throw punches, whipping and snapping your punches, not tensing up your muscles and throwing punches. The same is true for head movement in boxing. You're constantly moving your head. You can't be tense and tight. Especially too, if someone's swinging, up, they're throwing a big punch at you and you've got to suddenly t tighten up, what happens? You resist your own muscles. You've got to be loose. You've got to be relaxed. Now, there's two big ways to do this. Number one is just do it, just relax. But okay, I know that's a terrible, terrible way to say it, but sometimes you gotta just tell yourself to relax. And one thing that can help is tense as tight as you can and then let it go. Tense as tight as you can and then let it go. To feel that difference, making sure you're in the let it go mode when you're boxing. The other thing, and this relates to many other points as well, is to always be moving your head, right? If I'm always moving my head up and down, every time I throw that last punch, my head's moving, moving my head, always doing it, will make it easier, it'll make me more comfortable, more relaxed doing it anyway, looser, because I don't want to get tired doing it, and even better, if someone's trying to punch me, I'm harder to punch for a couple reasons. Number one, my head's always moving, so I'm moving target. Number two, if I do have to roll, if my head's moving back and forth, and I suddenly do have to roll or slip, I'm already in motion, so I'm halfway there. So, make sure you're always moving your head when you're not punching and throwing that combo, your head's moving, your feet are moving, or both and make sure you're staying loose and relaxed. Check in with yourself sometimes, tense up, relax. You can do that with those punches as well. I have mused this midweek.